Hi, I'm Jeff Bartikovics, co-founder of TastingTable.com, here with Karen Palmer, the editor of our Good Taste Edition, which is all about healthful eating and drinking. Karen, what are you going to show us today? I'm going to show you how to make a staple that we have in our pantry here at the Tasting Table Test Kitchen all the time. It's a quick and fresh basil oil. It's great for grilled meats and veggies in the summer, and what we like about it at Good Taste is that it's really healthy because a little bit of it goes a long way. Beautiful. How are we going to do it? So we've got about two cups of loosely packed fresh basil that I'm just going to drop into boiling water for about, you know, 10 seconds or so, just until the leaves start to wilt. Looks like it's there already. Exactly. Let's strain it out. So we're just going to plunge it into some cold ice water, which stops the cooking and also preserves that beautiful green flavor of the leaves. Cool. I will pull those guys out. Perfect. Now I know from other vinaigrettes that we've done in the test kitchen, uh, this guy right here needs to be totally dry, otherwise the exactly. water will ruin the dish. So while you're squeezing out the water, I am going to get our oil ready. An important thing to remember is to use about a two to one herb to oil ratio. So we are using about a cup of oil and we're doing a combo of grapeseed and olive oil. The olive oil can be a little bit fruity, so what the grapeseed oil does is kind of mellows out the flavor and gives it a cleaner Got it. You want to taste, taste the uh, herbs at the end of the day, exactly. not just all that beautiful olive. Exactly. So you're going to put those in the blender. And why don't you just put in a little bit of the um, olive oil, maybe about a quarter of a cup, to get things started. OK. Quick pulse. And we're just going to, yep, blend that up for a moment. All right. And then why don't you drizzle the rest in while you're continuing to blend Got so it. everything gets nice. Beautiful. A wonderful color right there. So if you wanted to, what you could do at this point is actually take this whole thing and put it in the fridge so that the flavors infuse overnight. But since we're a little pressed for time, why don't you go ahead and strain out the oil? I like anything that we can use immediately, especially exactly. in the summer when you don't have very much time. What I like to do, you know, you don't have to throw out this extra basil here. I like to mix it with a little bit of fresh ricotta and make kind of a, you know, a spread for toast or anything like a little that. appetizer for guests. Absolutely beautiful. So now we have our beautiful finished oil and a couple of the ways that I like to use it is to drizzle it over some fresh mozzarella or we could put it on a fresh watermelon and feta salad. Why don't you do so, the mozzarella? Okay, here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Just Great gives it color some combination. Color. And much more interesting than just throwing a few basil leaves on there and exactly. calling it a day. And then here, why don't you take care of that watermelon and feta? I will do the quick and dirty, no drizzling, pour right from the bottle method, exactly. also summer appropriate. That's absolutely beautiful. If I didn't want to use basil, anything else I could use? You could use any other kind of fresh herb that you have on hand, parsley, tarragon, chervil, whatever your favorite is. I will be experimenting with this soon. Karen, Great. thanks for the tip, and uh, we'll do it again soon. Awesome. Sounds good.